Hi, Brett here from Shift Power USA. Today we got a 2021 Kia Forte. We're going to install the throttle response controller. This car is a great little car, but well underpowered. The throttle response controller really takes out that initial lag and uh, makes it much more drivable, uh, enjoyable to drive. So let's get started. It takes just a few minutes to install. We'll show you how it works. Okay, so we're in the car now. We'll open up the package to see what's inside and get this installed really quick. First of all, there's two user manuals, both in English and Spanish. The little control module button and the T harness and module. And that's all there is to it. This plugs in at the throttle pedal. The controller button plugs in at the harness and we're all set to go. So we'll go in the car and, and put this in right now. So we're down here at the throttle pedal and right above the throttle pedal is the connector. It looks just like what's on this harness. So you disconnect that, take our harness from the throttle response controller, and plug it in. And we plug the other side of our cable, plug it back into the throttle pedal itself. And then there's this control button that we'll see how to operate in a second. And it plugs into the little red connector on the harness. And that's all there is to it. We'll We'll connect this back up here out of the way and use some zip ties that are included in the box and route this wire up and mount the, and mount the control button up here. So after we connect it and we mount this button, then the next step is uh, we'll show here in a second on how to connect the phone and use the phone app to, to control the module as well for many more settings. In addition to the increased uh, response, there's two other features. There's a, a theft deterrent feature that actually locks out the throttle pedal. We'll show you how that works. And also a valet mode that can be used to, to prevent unauthorized uh, use of the vehicle should you use to park it. So after you turn on the engine, what you want to do is download the Shift Power application. And how you do that is go to your app here. I already went ahead and searched it, Shift Power File Tech. And then go ahead and press the install and then open. And after you open up the app, you want to click on this vehicle button. And then you'll find it. You'll find your Shift Power device. Go ahead and connect it. It's going to ask you for the password and the password is going to be written on the user manual first page go ahead and pair it and then you will select your vehicle Tacoma and then once you selected it you'll notice that it's already on green so every time you press the button your app will change real time sport super sport that's orange and a race that's red press it again it'll turn white which is turned off and let me give you a little example. So at the off position, if you accelerate, you can see the vehicle's acceleration and shift power's acceleration. It's going to be the same. And then you press it once, it'll jump to 25%. And you'll notice that the shift power acceleration is going to be a little bit more than the original. All right, there it is. Press it one more time. Sport, it's going to be more aggressive. Super Sport, even more aggressive and then race, super aggressive, very sensitive. And you can also fine tune this setting by going to, going to the setting button here, most settings. So if there's a specific percentage that you would rather prefer, you could go ahead and change it over here. And then on top of that, you can change the throttle curve to be linear, which is straight, dynamic or exponential which has the most easing in curve so exponential will probably be the easiest to drive unless of course you're just trying to peel out and do donuts it will want it to be linear so exponential we'll try at race so the with exponential the acceleration will build up more as you're pushing it down more Okay, on top of that, we also have what's called a valet mode. So at the valet mode, you can actually adjust how much percentage is the maximum acceleration between 15 to 45% when you're valeting your vehicle so that you don't have to worry about the valet driver peeling out with your car and being reckless with it. 
And at the same time, we also have the throttle lock mode. So when you lock your throttle, um, this is for a secondary theft deterrent device. See that they get your engine turned on, and even when they accelerate, nothing is going to happen to the vehicle. It's, it won't move. So now that we have everything in the car, we'll go for a test drive and really see how much difference it makes. So right now we just have it set at 25%. We'll go out on the road here. Oh, it takes out that initial lag that was just right there before that was just really a dead spot at the beginning. This is not a fast car by any means, but it sure makes it much more responsive and not that delay. Big difference at just 25%. So the other thing I like about this is Sometimes I park the car in kind of an unsafe location. You can lock it. The car will still start, but the throttle pedal is completely inoperative, so there's no way anybody's gonna be able to take the vehicle. It's a cool feature. Also a valet mode, so um, if you park it, parking attendant or a car wash or something, you can set the valet mode, and it limits how fast the, the vehicle will, will go. Really just prevents people from abusing the vehicle when you're not around. The four different modes though, you can set it at 25% increments, depending on how you want to drive it. It's more around town or in the freeway. This would be really aggressive. Probably not ever used in this type of car, but others it works really well. So we'll go back to 48%, make this turn. In addition to using the button to, to switch the modes, you can actually touch the phone and adjust it anywhere you like. Well, that's actually a better setting. In the high 40s is a, is a better setting. Seems like it's much more responsive, not overdoing it. Really helps these cars that are, that are kind of underpowered. But that is a beautiful thing about this is you can you can adjust it just to the tailor it to just the level of, of response that you want. You can also make those mode button settings adjustable. So factory default is it it adjusts 25% for each time you press the button, but those are all adjustable back in the setup menu. So you can have it adjust 15% for one, 30 for another, 40 for another. Makes it very, very uh, universal. Oh, it's a big improvement to be able to cross traffic like that and have some confidence that it's going to actually go. And still, it's it's not jumpy at low speeds around parking lots because there really is no effect for that first 10% of the throttle pedal travel. So it doesn't cause a problem in parking lots or at low speed maneuvers. Nice modification to a car for sure. So that wraps it up. Uh, for more information, click the link below. Visit shiftpowerusa.com. We have uh, several models for just about every vehicle uh, make and model. And it's really a great application to a vehicle. Thank you.